La libertad de la During his Angelus on January 15th, Pope Francis announced an ecumenical prayer vigil on September 30th to prepare for the next phase in the church's synodal process. Perciò colgo questa occasione per annunciare che sabato 30 settembre prossimo in Piazza San Pietro avrà luogo una veglia ecumenica di preghiera con la quale affideremo a Dio i lavori della sedicesima Assemblea Generale Ordinaria del Sinodo dei Vescovi. The Holy See Press Office held a press conference to discuss the vigil, which leads up to the next phase of the Synod. Cardinal Jean-Claude Hollerich explained why the vigil is important, as it highlights a central theme in Pope Francis's pontificate, that is, the ecumenical aspect of the synodal process. There is, in fact, no complete synodality without unity among the Christians. We cannot just advance, go forward, as the Catholic Church without looking to our sisters and brothers of other Christian faith. We have to go together. Pope Francis will preside over the prayer vigil and has encouraged young people from around the world to attend. It will be held by the Teze community, an ecumenical fraternity that leads groups of meditation and prayer for young people open to all, not only young people, but to all, the whole people of God, this common prayer will include listening to the word of God, praise and intercession, Tese songs, and silence. And we hope that this vigil will be a sign of fellowship, unity, and peace. Following the prayer vigil on September 30th, the bishops will make a three-day retreat in preparation for the next phase of the Synod.